<laughs> so, back, Carl Parker, hotshot from England, <clears throat> came to Australia to wrestle for some reason. Um, sure. Milk talk. Carl Parker. He was a tube. Oh, he just, he whole dogged it. Did you whole dog that? Why? <laughs> You're meant to cut it into slices, it says. <laughs> no, it's just advised. Just, just So you case. don't choke? No, no gag reflex, you know what I mean? <laughs> so. Right. Today on Milk Talk, we have Carl Parker. Carl, how did you get here? How did I get here? I ran. Ran through um, Brisbane. And then swam for most of it. I don't know if that was optional though. Hi, welcome to another episode of Milk Talk. I'm Charlie D, and today the show <laughs> <laughs> we've got Carl Parker Hello. from England. Hello, I am from England. Yeah, yeah, these don't work. Yeah. I bought them from Venom. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to know the story? Yes, I'd so, love to know. Do you know GM Anthony? GM Anthony. Um, he, uh, he's, he runs Venom. General Manager Anthony. Oh, I probably bumped into him. You, yeah, well, you'll probably meet him tomorrow. Oh, nice. Cool. Okay, so he had these old mics because he got new ones. I said, oh, hey, can I buy those for, can I buy those from you? He's like, yeah, 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 30 bucks. I'm like, oh, I've got two 20s. Um, can I have change? He's like, no, no, don't worry about it. Just give me 40. <laughs> what? I was like, deal, good right. deal. Well, you did just pay me. <laughs> That's, I I love hate indie wrestling. Yeah, yeah. I remember, um, I think I, oh, what was it? Some of the old um, places that I used to wrestle for, um, oh, I, I think I gave like $30 for this like entrance. And they were like, oh yeah, if you could just, like donate like a little bit for this entrance, like, it's gonna be amazing. It was literally like, like poorly soldered <laughs> poles that were kind of together. And then it was like, cause I think it was like, like some sort of alloy. So it was like really light. <laughs> You know, pretty flimsy, but we've got kind of an entrance. There's nothing worse than, you know, when you have like a match and then you have to open the door. Oh, and then you're no, like, that's yeah. my point. I love when the door is visible. I love having to open the door <laughs> and you have to close it behind you. So like, yeah, yeah. All right. And let me close that so yeah. you can't see the rest of the locker room. Oh, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah. I remember first match I had, um, Oh, we had, it was kind of like a dungeon sort of thing. I was really, it was like a, some sort of basement and like, yeah. there was a ring and my first match was in front of like parents and stuff like that. Oh yeah. So we had like maybe like eight, eight to 10 people there. Wow. And you go down these stairs and then like there's an archway and then you kind of just come out. And I remember I had like this kind of photography thing going for me. So I was like, okay, I'll just get my camera. So <laughs> come around, I sort of like go like that, take a picture, the flash comes on. And I thought, oh yeah, this looks really cool. No, it just ended up being really creepy. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> it's a little dungeon with eight to ten people in it. <laughs> yeah. That's a great, that's because, a great first memory. And especially because it was dark and dingy, like the flash kind of just blinded everyone, I guess. <gasps> My first match, I debuted in Adelaide. Okay. So I think there's about five or six hundred people there, I was lucky. Because hmm. it's easier to wrestle in front of a bunch of people because you don't get self-conscious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but their entrance way. So, I'm in the back, and then there's, like, this, like, entrance way that's made out of wood and black curtain. Step through it, and I step up, and there, there's just this dark space. And then there's another piece of wood and curtain. But you don't know about that, so I walk through, but the second piece is way down here. So I walk straight into it, and I have a I have a concussion before my first match. Oh no way! Rick. Completely, I'm concussed the rest of the night, and I did an eight man tag, and then later there was a hardcore rumble where someone brought a live snake into the ring. Really? What? Are you really excited that you came to Australia yeah. to wrestle? Yeah. Good. Wow. That was. I mean, that's a good talking point, though. Yeah. I guess you don't. Re do you remember it? I remember bits and pieces. Um, I remember because they had a different ring because it was like a boxing ring almost so the ropes were closer together and yeah, lower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I like, I'm sort of hiding in the corner and someone runs at me I'm like, I feel safe here. Like, I, I, it's going to hurt no matter what. But the ropes were so close together that my head had nowhere to go so when I get 
hit with the old hip attack. Yeah, yeah. I just go straight into the turnbuckle. I'm like, oh, this is... <laughs> I'm more concussed. Oh, dear. I, I remember just... The snake, I just left. Yeah. As soon as I saw the snake come in. Because people were joking about it backstage. I was like, oh, there's no way someone's going to do that. And then they did. So how did it work then? Was it like... Like some sort of like push to the face with the snake? If it was, uh, he just had a bag, a burlap sack. Yeah. That he kept saying there was a snake in it. And I didn't believe it, because I'm like, that guy has a dollar store flag, that guy has a book. This is just stuff you found on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. This brother had a full-on snake, like a python. Yeah. That he's been jiggling around all night. <sighs> Goodness. I'm against that, though. I don't like animals in wrestling. Yeah. That's true. Unless you're out back at him, because he seems to be quite respectful. Yeah. Spill the beans! I realized this today, um, that you are the perfect person for this question. Okay. Because Carl Parker came all the way from England to wrestle in Queensland. That's true. Okay. <laughs> and he wrestles at IPW. That's it. And what's at IPW? Everyone's favorite wrestler. What's your favorite thing about Slammer? Um, probably, it's a lovely face, it's a gorgeous face. I remember I messaged him, um, telling him that I really liked his theme theme song, and I was like, oh yeah, can you tell me the name of it? And he said, I have no idea. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, oh, cool. We didn't, I actually found it. I found it a couple months later. Still, it's good though. It's very good. I love him so much. <laughs> he is an Australian icon. <laughs> oh. Oh, you, like, can, you can invite him on. Oh, no, he's sure. like the big guest. Because uh, everyone yeah. puts Slammer over. It's like... Yeah, yeah. It's just a thing that we started doing. Yeah, yeah. And it caught on. Because I, I don't even know what his merch is, but I pre-ordered two shirts. I'm like, what's the design? <laughs> he's like, I don't know, Kelly. <laughs> I've got like a spray bottle and I just kind of just spray myself just liberally I guess yeah uh, that all started back in the UK uh, I wrestled this guy and then I was just spraying myself down like a little bit because you do if you do a little bit it's nice not too wet not too dry and then we just kept going and then like for some reason we had this kind of backstage tag team name called the wet boys <laughs> and and we had a match one time oh my god like definitely one of my favorite matches though but we were drenched. Like it was, <laughs> it was so bad. We slipped off each other. Um, oh man! But it was generally one of my favourite matches. Um, his name is Joe Costa. Great guy, Cornish man. Shout out to Joe Costa, the yeah, Cornish man. Cornish. <laughs> Cornish Joe Costa. Is do you know he still what, out there? Uh, you don't know what Cornish pasty is, do you? No. Oh. Do you know what pasty? Do you know what pasties are? What pasties? What's a pasty? Well, uh, a pasty is like, um, <laughs> <Probably. laughs> samurai. Um, oh my goodness. Do you know what a, oh, like a chicken triangle is? No, what is the chicken triangle? So that, that was, that was something I had in Toowoomba. Do you know what a, oh man, like a slice is? Like a steak slice? Uh, <laughs> no, I gotta eat heavy. I can't eat something light, because if there's nothing in my stomach, can I... I land on my tummy, then I just yeah, yeah. I get sick and I dry heat. I have vomited on ring aprons in a tag match. Okay. Yeah, I knew one person who didn't eat or drink throughout the entire day until that match. They're psychos. Yeah, probably not a good wrestler either. <laughs> well, I what was it? I got told that I had a match with her, and then she was a bit too tired on the day, or something like that. So I ended up doing. A singles match instead of that one. And I remember she ref that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too tired to wrestle, but I'll be the referee for this match. Oh no. Like, no, she's great, she's lovely. And then um and then I got beaten up by this big guy afterwards. And then we had a like a a triple threat match at the end. What? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, the rest yeah. was good. That was good.
there's a segment on this show where each show we give each guest a special beverage. And since you're the hot shot, we have gotten you Whoa. hot kid milk beverage. Oh man, I was gonna make a joke saying that I love hot kids, but. <laughs> That I like hot kids. <gasps> oh, it's nice. Like, like just sweet milk. Yeah. Straight, you know, straight in, lie on my back, just bite the other straight from the. Oh, yeah, I'm lactose intolerant and I can't do that these days. Oh, so I just lie under a tree, like an almond tree, and wait. Ah, uh, okay. I was gonna say, like, they don't kind of like, you can't just like juice it. You know? No, I just wait. Huh? I like an apple could fall down, couldn't it? If it's an apple tree, yeah. I'm not hanging out under an apple tree for milk. I would. <laughs> Maybe apple <one> milk. <laughs> yeah. Talking about beverages. Yes. Most wrestlers have to stay up for long periods of time. And they to stay awake. They drink <laughs> beans. Oh. What's your coffee order? Oh, I don't like coffee. Yeah. Super brown, but kind of like I don't know. I don't know. What is your go-to McDonald's order? Oh, um, I guess you know. Through the years, your order changes. Um, I was absolutely obsessed with nuggets at one point, like unhealthy obsession. That's fair. A lot of us were. Yeah, I don't know, it's just, it's just easy, you know, you don't have to pick up the bun, nuggets are lighter, so... And, like, there's always a goal, like, I always wanted as a kid to eat 40 nuggets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as an adult, I'm like, I can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what you mean. I guess now that we're, we're older, things don't seem as expensive. Like, you know, like, Ferrero Rocher's? Yeah. I always thought they were so much money, but now I can buy them <laughs> and waste all my money. Yeah. Oh man, well I, I recently got turned on to something, it's an Italian chocolate. It's called Pocket Coffee, and it has, so it's dark chocolate, little bit of wafer, yeah. with like a coffee liquid inside, so it's like a shot of coffee. So you wouldn't like it, Yeah. but it's perfect for, for me at work. Like, cause I'm a chef, wrestling. I'm a wrestling chef. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just eat one. And I'm good for a couple hours. Yeah, it's, it's just a shot of coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do I do? Um, maybe like a chicken royale meal. Um, I probably won't even touch the nuggets if I was getting a chicken-based burger, unless a wrap is involved. Oh, yeah, no, chicken wraps have been a popular answer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're just convenient, you know? I grow the filet of fish Oh, that's, I've never, yeah. ever heard anyone say that before. I, I mean, we did finish it like oh, four. Oh, dude, but... Drunken Ring Crew is classic. <laughs> I, there was one point, because we had like this fence, and we realized we had put the fence back on. Because mm -hmm. it literally was a, instead of like swinging the door open and closed, you had to lift the door onto this little garage. Mm. And we realized we hadn't put the whole ring in there. Yeah. And the strongest guy there was like, no. And just started chucking the leftover bits on top of what we had done. Yeah, yeah. And we are like, oh, that's really funny. Ugh. Until we had to unload the ring. That's always the case. <laughs> like a month later, we were like, oh, yeah, that's not <laughs> as funny. Oh, I had a, a rumble match. And I remember my music hit, and this just drunk guy just came out and took my place. And I was like, <laughs> fair enough. And then, like, 20 seconds later, I just kind of just strolled out. <laughs> I was just like, oh, you're right, guys. And that was it. I just went in. Um, and I remember just stamping on this guy, and he was like Scottish, I'm pretty sure. And he's like, oh, you're really good. And I was like, <laughs> shut up. So I just stomped harder, and I loved him out. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember as well. Um, when I lobbed him out, um, his other mate, I think his other mate got thrown out as well, and then I got thrown out, and there was like a pile of bodies on the floor, so I was just kind of like rolling on top of them. Um, and then, I remember, I was, I was still on the floor at this point, uh, the two guys that were on the floor, they were like arguing with this other guy, 
And then I just joined in. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. Like, I had no idea what this guy was. I think I'm pretty sure he was Scottish. I had no <laughs> idea what his name was. I was just yelling at this random man. I didn't know what I was doing. Felt good, though. All of your stories are just about a Scottish guy. Potentially Scottish guy. Oh, man. So, back home, um, there's probably, like, one Scottish guy that <laughs> a lot of people know. Um, he's so scary. <laughs> so, he's called the, the UK Dominator. I'm like, like, lovely guy. I guess. <laughs> no, joking. No, lovely guy. But even when he'd talk to you, He's got these, these eyes, like piercing eyes, and like you could tell that he could like just smash your teeth in. Just it was just one of those guys, mm. but lovely guy, lovely oh, guy. Oh yeah, meant yeah. well until he would start beat you up. What like slammer? Oh no, slammer would crush me. He, have you actually ever wrestled him? Um, I was in a rumble with him. He's so time. strong. Yeah, like my matches with him were twenty eighteen. Yeah, so yeah. it was a while ago, but I was like. How are you this strong? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's so deceptive. I remember backstage, I was getting ready, and um, Slammer came over. I think I was, oh, I can't remember, I was, like, putting on my shoes or something like that. He got his thumb straight on my bum, and then, <laughs> like, just lifted me up like that and twirled me around. And I was like, whoa, mate, you are so strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Carl Parker. Yeah. The hot shot. Yeah. From England. Yeah. With a hat. Yeah. How do you pee? Oh, okay. Um, Take us through it. Now, so, home base, no urinal, clean toilet. Okay, so normally, I'll get the door open, um, and then shut it. Well, I don't know, that's optional, if they want to. Um, they, you let the people outside decide? Well, if they want to come in, sure, why not? That's fair. Um, big Grinch over here follows me in. <laughs> ah. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Do you like hold hands or anything like that? No, nah, because I use both hands. Oh, yeah, no, we'll get into that. I can't even use one. Well, I sit. Well, well, I sit down, brother. So you use both hands and sit. So when I go, like a gentleman, I sit down. Yeah. And because I don't want the angel, I don't want to touch the inside of the bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got three fingers on my left hand. Yeah. Pushing. Yeah. Just a bit inwards. Okay. Then I'm grabbing the toilet paper because every time I pee, I do a safety wipe just to see anything. But I also wipe my wiener. Right, okay. So, you know, you just get a couple squares and you, um, you let it absorb all the pee afterwards. Yeah. But I normally, so after I've potentially shut the door, I'm not even sure. Um, bop, seat comes up. Seat comes up. Maybe do like a half um, handstand just to kind of get this position. And then if I kind of lower myself, I'm on it, but like my face is facing down and I'm kind of at this like really good 90 degree angle. So I don't have to use my hands. My hands are safe, but they're on the grubby floor. But you said it was clean. So this is the home base. Home base, exactly. Your house, you know what's there. So, bomb, 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 door maybe open. I'm in this kind of position. Man, I just I can't be asked to wipe to be honest. You don't wipe? Okay. I normally to like kind Are of you shake. circumcised? Uh no. Cause the I've noticed some people Is it like an is I know it's an American thing, but like is it an Australian thing as well? Not really. Uh, you see some people have done it because like they've adopted it from the American whatever, but yeah, yeah. I don't understand it. I don't know. Because there's like a health thing back in the desert times. Yeah. It might be just a phase. Well, some people on this show yeah. pull back their foreskin to pee. Okay. Is there like some sort of reason? Benefit to this? Yeah. So, allegedly, it's to stop the buildup of pee inside the foreskin. But I wipe, so this kind of negates that issue. Oh, so, geez. guys who don't wipe and don't pull back the foreskin are at risk of like a urinary tract infection or something. Ah, I don't just shake, to be honest. I don't do a shake anymore, because I got the wipe. I don't trust the shake. God, I probably need to do that. I need, I need to make sure that I'm not wearing white-based clothing. It has to be dark, because if I shake, I'm just going to piss all over myself. Wait, do you shake while going? Yeah, 
course I do. It gets in my eye. I probably need to finish though. He is sterile, that's why he's fine. Yeah. I mean, I drink water. You don't drink coffee, we found out. <laughs> yeah. You drink milky tea. It can't be too milky. Straight from the teat of the cow, yeah. he twists the nip and the milk comes shooting out. Yeah. So Did you now? So if there's like four udders, I'll like put my mouth straight in one udder and then milk two udders. Knowingly like there's a third, but I don't have three hands. Um, and then kind of swirl it around in my mouth and then drink the tea. It's just easier that way, isn't it? But I have to find a cow. I have to find a cow every time. <laughs> That's actually pretty easy in like regional Australia, where most wrestling shows are. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because it... they're never centrally located. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you got public transit. Uh, yep. <laughs> well, then no wrestling shows for you. It's um, it's similar like back home. Like you have big venues and stuff like that in the cities, but you never get them. You will get like some sort of tap, like a random town hall or. Um, school that's like miles away. A school middle... that's no longer in <laughs> in use. Yeah, and there'll be like this big kind of like lovely church um, stained glass window in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I once did a, a cabaret, th like a burlesque theater, that was underneath the casino. Casino wouldn't let us advertise the show though, so we had twelve people in this like beautiful theater. Yeah, oh, I did it in a um, an opera house one time. Really? That was beautiful. Uh, the only thing we found was the stage was kind of an angle. So when you all kind of run in towards the ropes, towards the crowd, you pick up too much speed because you're going sort of downhill. Yeah. That's a risky game. But it's all fun and games, isn't it? Wrestling's chaotic. Man. Yeah. Gotta ask you. Yeah. Top five favorite wrestlers. Um... Well, me at the top. Probably. You at the top? Me and the top. I assume you got Road Dog and Disco Inferno right behind Slammer you. Slammer as well. He's up Slammer. There. Oh, so you got your, your four. <laughs> so Carl Parker, Road Dog, yeah. Disco Inferno, Slammer. Yeah. What else? Probably Primo. Pr Primo Cologne? Yeah. Not even Epico, just Primo? No, just, just Primo. <laughs> What about you? I love Primo. <laughs> That's the best answer we've had. <laughs> <laughs> like, I try to go, like, <laughs> obscure with fucking Road Dog and Disco Inferno. <laughs> no, like, with Disco Inferno as my obscure one, <laughs> I had to think about who Primo was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You can do it all. He should have been... Me? World champion. Yeah. Oh, he should. Primo, yeah. World champion, easy. Maybe even <sighs> WWE Universal or something like that. Oh, uh, you know what? Yeah. But what about this? Road Dog. Yeah. Disco Inferno. Yeah. Jerry Lawler. Okay. The Big Show. Yeah. And Kiwi from WCW. Oh, yeah. Do yeah. you remember Kiwi? Like, very vaguely, yeah. Vaguely. Have you got like a picture of it? Actually, uh, do you have your phone? Yes. Google Kiwi WCW. Because <laughs> my phone's the camera. Oh, flipping. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, do I remember him? I think. Oh, I can't tell. Watch any Kiwi match and it's a fucking experience. Uh, that's my rule not to swear, but it's Kiwi. <laughs> I love that man. He's good. Oh, Scott Steiner popped up. I was thinking about um, Scott Steiner the other day. Um, do you remember that segment that he had with Triple H and it was like a bodybuilding competition? Yeah. I absolutely dribble over that. It's like, it's insane. Like, just two big men tensing. What? It's crazy. Like, they look great. Like, I like women, <laughs> but Triple H. 2003 Triple H. Oh my god. Ooh, it's actually 2002 at that point. So you're talking late 2002. Peak Triple H with the bike shorts. 
You have to pay to see the quads. That's the pay-per-view gear. So, oh, man. I didn't really like the bike shorts, to be honest. No one did. No. I feel good about it. I have it on DVD, just like the best of bike shorts, Triple H. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they should censor that out. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> oh, goodness me. 